far But this old town just put it all behind Remember you and I would always be Somewhere to hide when we work in So we could see and hear the water run The river's gonna cry when you're gone Where will you go? Won't you miss the ones you know? I'll be here hanging on Waiting for your call Passing by, leave them all in our hearts to turn the memories. River's gonna cry when you're gone, 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 gone. gonna cry when you're gone, 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 gone. gonna cry when you're gone, 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 gone. gonna cry when you're was spot on so we're not surprised by what we're in it's not too bad um right down here at uh, clarence straits the last kind of 20 miles to get in and catch again but uh right at the tide is just going to start to turn about a half an hour and the wind's all from the south southwest blowing right across there's really nowhere for me to hide in the channel We've got a couple cruise ships doing 16, 17 knots off to my starboard. I really don't want to hit their wake going that fast. Um, those guys will blow like a five or six foot wake off the back of them. I may not have a choice though in this because uh, I had to slow down to 14 knots to get through this or just get beat up too bad. I mean, it's like a one foot roller. They're actually spaced by the bar, but there's white caps off the distance and there's some occasional two footers rolling through here. Um, so it's lumpy, um, you know, but uh, total for today, I want to say it was like 85 miles, and we've got 26 left to go. But uh, here's what it looks like outside.
And his four blade drop on this boat does really good at lifting that stern up. And I was questioning whether I should put the three blade on and save some fuel efficiency for this trip. But I'm actually glad I left it on. Because uh, stuff like this, um, I'm doing 14 and a half knots. And I'm basically getting one mile per gallon. Um, isn't, isn't the greatest, but... Uh, if I had flat seas, I'd be getting 1.2, 1.3. So it's not that big of a penalty to pay. Um, but uh, I'd rather do 14 knots instead of 7, which is what I'd have to do if I had the slow boat. Um, just having that extra blade on the prop helps keep the stern lift up. and gives me a really wide range to operate in. I mean, really, as long as it's... Uh, um, as long as I'm, like, faster than... 12 or 13 knots or smaller than 10, the boat does really good with that four plate. Oh. Tell you where we're at. That wrangle down there, took a different path, even wrangle. Came up, but now we're in Clarence Strait. The winds is coming straight here, so the wind and the current are going the same direction, which is what I was shooting for. But catch the cans right up in here, I think where we're going. That's our marina right there. So having the wind and the current go the same direction would help make the seas better. But in about an hour, it's going to go the opposite, and I wanted to get into catch a can uh, right around 12:30. My target, no lay really 12:30 looks like because I gotta go slower, it'll be about one. But we should be across Clarence Strait into the channel uh, in a protected water if I catch again, um, just as the tide finishes turning. For the most part, my front windows are staying dry, so that's that's always a good sign. Okay. He doesn't like the bumping. Emma's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Emma can sleep through anything. It is always hard, hard to fill sea or the film sea steak is it always looks a lot smaller than they really are. But uh, like I said, it's definitely an occasional two footers running through here. Maybe more than occasional, but nothing bigger than two. So that's not too bad. Just slow going. River's gonna cry when you're gone. the three footer I got 12 miles to go man we are so close all right this is a little bit worse than forecasted it's supposed to be like one foot seas on two or three seconds not three foot seas. And this is slack high tide right now too. Twelve more miles and we'll be in the channel of the Ketchikan, which should be all protected water, and this should all lay down. But I gotta cut across soap and body water here at uh, Clarence Strait. And it's a south southwest wind and the Tide was coming in and now it's uh, slack and it's going to turn go the other way. So this is probably the best I can hope for. I just want to scoot across this channel as quick as I can. Oh, 
not a bad album. We do have a couple ships in front of us. I'm Southwest wind, they got the tide that just turned to go out. Coming down this way, and this way, Clarence Strait. Cruise ships pass through here for about five to six foot lakes. Six miles of Congress Pass, and all this should flatten right down with protection from both north and south. Okay, watch new class. Fall off. It's trying hard to stay on. It's not a naked pumpkin. I mean, I don't even see white caps off in the distance. There is white caps in the distance. What do you want? It's supposed to be like one foot, maybe two today, right here. Definitely like three. Question. They've been dropped over there, bouncing around.
If you enjoyed watching this video, click the screen to watch another.